Burlington is a small town in Penobscot County, home to about 400 people. When the pandemic hit, it expanded its food pantry to help serve as many of them and others as possible. This feed main effort set up shop on a donated piece of property. Unfortunately, after more than a year, the landowner had other plans for that plot, leaving the director and the volunteers at the Burlington Food Pantry scrambling for new home options. The pantry's director told us about the challenge four months ago. Now we need a place to call Burlington Food Pantry a home, a roof over our head so we can continue to do what we're doing. We've been offered an acre of land that we could put a building on, but we need a building to put on it. So uh, that's what we're pressured with right now. Well, that was four months ago. Now that snow is gone and the pressure on them has been relieved. The Burlington Food Pantry has a new home built from the ground up. New Center Maine's Hannah Yashivi joins us with this significant update. Hi, Hannah. Hi, Pat and Amanda. According to the Good Shepherd Food Bank, in Penobscot County, more than 22,000 residents are food insecure. Thanks to just donations, the new Burlington Food Pantry has opened new doors to continue its efforts to help feed them. We had two builders who said they would bring their hammers and they put together this building behind us. And um, it is a dream come true. A dream that started with just a sign. One family, four people. And now the future home is home. People, construction companies, electricians, plumbers, all donating time, talent and money for a new Burlington food pantry to reopen its doors. They would have to choose between gas and food or gas and medicine or medicine. Julie Clayton knows what that means. Reason why she decided to roll in to get food for her and her family. It's a godsend. Because we can maybe afford some once every couple of weeks, you know, and then we have to do without for several days or a week. Handing out food to about 300 people every other week. How many families are you picking up for? People from Burlington and neighboring towns after other nearby pantries closed. We've been praying for another food cupboard to open. Her prayers answered food and more. I'm a board certified care manager and a registered nurse and I help people figure out how they can manage their health and wellness. Registered nurse Joan Belcher helps at no cost. How long have you gone without your inhaler? Answering questions about insurance, medical questions. Or if they wish they knew more, had a trusted person that they could ask a question of confidentially. Belcher drives more than two hours to get to Burlington to help fellow Mainers. Maureen Bean thinks about keeping all the help available. Our biggest challenge now is to support the building. We aren't supported by a church or the municipality. We're dependent on gifts. The new Burlington Food Pantry is open every other Friday and you can also pick up food for your neighbors or friends in need. We have a link on our website and mobile app where you can donate to help keep its new doors open. Live in studio, Hannah Yashivi, New Center, Maine.